Hello there, welcome to this lesson on services marketing with a practical approach. I am Dr. Biplav Datta, my contacts are all given on the screen, so you can send me a feedback whenever you feel like and I will try to uh, reply to them as much as possible. Today we will look at lesson number 14 which is understanding consumer behavior. So there we have stages of service consumption, customer perceived risk while purchasing a service and the actions to mitigate customer perceived risk and fear. So what are the stages of service consumption? There are six stages of service consumption like awareness of need, search for information, evaluation of alternative services, experiencing the service and the post experience evaluation of the service. Now you may note that unlike products, customer cannot return a service, however they can complain about the service and seek redressal of the same. At that time, service personnel and service managers have will have the opportunity to recover the service, that is make good the service, make good the problems or the issues that were there when the original service was delivered and we will discuss about that in a later lesson. We discuss the above stages of consumer behavior next. So what is the awareness of need? As customers grow older or even otherwise, customers may need help in performing certain chores. They might need help in handling their finances, transporting themselves from home to their workplace and back, preparing their tiffin for consumption at their workplace payment of electricity bill at the electricity office, etc. So as you know well by now, customers can get the above help in the form of service. Thus customers can become aware of their need from within and seek the help of a service. At times customers may not have a real need, however they may become aware of a service and feel like availing the service in order to make their life more hassle free and save time for leisure or for doing some other work, other important work. This phenomena underlines the use of marketing communications like advertising, promotions, word of mouth, publicity, service sampling or trial experiences, catalogs and other forms of direct marketing which we will discuss in a later lesson. Once customers are aware of their need, they will start searching for services. We can call this stage as the stage of search for alternatives which we will discuss in the next session. Search for alternatives, who can help me with paying my electricity bills or who can deliver cooked food to my office at lunch time? These are some of the questions a customer would be asking to himself or herself while searching for an alternative service providers. While some customers may begin asking family members and friends, some customers would uh, quickly sit down and with his or her copy of the yellow pages that lists various professional services or even look at the internet for finding out professional services. How can service professional service, um, how can professional service firms attract the customer while he or she is at this stage? You must have thought that these firms can advertise and endeavor to bring their name and the description of their service in front of the customer's eyes. For instance, service firms can advertise their services like tourism or spa facilities in large billboards erected at prominent locations in the city. Next we come to evaluation of alternatives. So once the alternatives have been uh, sorted out, have been uh, put together, then the customer has to evaluate the alternative services. So in this stage, the customer compares the alternatives that he or she has listed. Needless to say, the customer would perform a cost benefit analysis of the services. Besides the cost and benefits accruing out of a particular service, the customer may worry about the risks associated with each service. Professors Christopher Lovelock, uh, Lovelock Jochen Beards and Jayanta Chatterjee have listed seven types of risks in their book entitled Services Marketing, People, Technology and Strategy published in 2010. These risks are li listed in the next slide. So what are the risks customers perceive while purchasing a service? The first type, there are three types, three or four types. One is functional, temporal, physical, psychological, social and sensory. So the functional, financial, 
So, the functional type of risk is unsatisfactory performance outcomes and the example of customer concern is what I get, will I get what I wanted. So, it is unsatisfactory performance outcomes. The financial outcomes uh, are financial type of risk are monetary loss and unexpected cost. So, would my money be stolen if I make a credit card transaction? This is the customer concern. Temporal means related to time. So, wastage of time and delays in receiving the service and how long do I have to wait at the doctor's clinic and what will happen to the household chores during that time. Physical, injury to persons or possessions. So, what will happen if I fall sick during the tour? Psychological, personal fears and emotions. Is there a chance that the aircraft I am traveling in crashes? Social, how others think and react about the service that I am going to buy from a particular service firm. What will my friends say if I buy this cheap service? Sensory, unwanted effects of any of the five senses. Will the hotel room be clean enough? So, these are some of the customer concerns and the type of risk uh, that is there um, and the customer concerns about those risks. So, people who face the uh, above risk would usually do something to assure themselves that their fears are unfounded. Customers can take several actions and service providers can help customers with their actions. The set of customer ser and service provider actions are listed in the next table. So, these are the customer and service provider actions to mitigate customer risk and fear. Customer actions are seek information from respected personal sources like friends, family and peers, rely on a company with good reputation about its credibility. A service provider actions are advertise uh, company credibility and generate good word of mouth. Next customer action is look for guarantees and warranties and so the service provider action is to provide unconditional service guarantees. The next customer action is to visit the service facility to check various aspects of the service. The service provider action is to invite customers to tour the service facility, keep the service facility sparkling and tidy and keep the facility safe. Ask knowledgeable employees about competing services, this is what the customer will do. And the service provider has to inform employees about the value of being uh, value being provided by the service. So, they should train employees in selling skills. Examining tangible cues or other physical evidence. So, keep the facilities and merchandise sparkling and attractive. Use the internet to compare service offerings and search for reviews and ratings. Create own competitive website and list competitors features on the website truthfully. These are the service provider actions to mitigate customer risk and fear. Evaluating a service can be difficult due to intangibility and simultaneity. Intangibility services may be high on search experience or credence attributes. What are search experience or credence attributes and how do they affect service evaluation? Search attributes, search attributes are features like style, color, texture, taste, sound, etcetera, which customers can sample before purchase. For instance, customers can visit a hotel room or check out the restaurant menu before deciding on deciding on purchasing the service. Experience attributes. When attributes of a service cannot be experienced before a purchase, the customer has to rely on experience attributes. For instance, a customer can see the menu at a restaurant but he or she has to taste the food and beverages before making a purchase. Some restaurants are able to provide customers a free dish uh, which they can sample or experience before taking the decision to purchase the services of the restaurant. Many customers would rely on the experience of other people like family members and friends to form an opinion about the service and experience the same. Credence attributes, these attributes of the service cannot be tested even after the consumption of the service. Take the case of hospital surgery. 
there is no way a patient can know whether the surgery was done properly. In such cases, the customer has to uh, uh, has no choice but to rely on the reputation of the surgeon who has performed the surgery. This makes it imperative for service businesses to enhance the reputation of their business and rely on word of mouth that customers would spread once they have experienced uneventful services from the service provider. Next, the fourth step is, the make, is to make the purchase decision. As discussed, a customer can make a purchase decision among various alternatives using a cost benefit comparison. Once he ha or she has decided to purchase a service, he or she will be ready to re-experience the service. Next step is experiencing the services. The service purchased by the customer may be a high touch or a low touch service. High touch services are like hair styling service where the customer has substantial contact with the service provider. On the other hand, low touch services are like automatic teller machines service where there is little contact with service employees. All services are delivered during the moments of truth that is the moments when a customer comes in contact with service personnel. The customer must be satisfied or delighted by the service personnel during these moments of truth. Moreover, they must also they also come in contact with the service scape that is the tangible parts of the service like they con come in contact with the parking or the bellboy and in those kinds of contacts with the uh, uh, parking facilities or with the Mm, uh, cart of the bellboy are also important uh, moments of truth. As discussed elsewhere, service personnel must be able to understand the needs of the customers and be able to meet them promptly if they are to satisfy their customers at the moment of truth. The last step is the post experience evaluation of the service. Once the service has been experienced, a customer might think about the service he or she received. They would feel satisfied if the service met their expectations. They would feel dissatisfied if the service failed to meet their expectations and they would be delighted if the service exceeded their expectations. In case of customers, uh, in case customers are dissatisfied with their service, they are likely to tell 15 other people about how dissatisfied they were with the service. On the other hand, if the service was satisfactory or delighted, delightful, they would tell at least 5 other people about the service. Once satisfied or delighted, customers may decide to repurchase the service in the future or recommend other people to purchase the repurchase the service or purchase the service. Moreover, satisfied customers would not mind slight future increases in the price of the service and continue to purchase their service from the same company. Service marketers can seek to strike a relationship with the customers at this stage. They can signify to the customers that they would be providing the best services to the customers in future and request customers to shop from them in the future. Next we come to the lesson number 15 which is new service development. Thank you for listening to this lesson 14. We hope that it helps.